Yo, 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 welcome to West TV, winning every single time TV. I'm going to let y'all check out this conversation I was a part of on the clubhouse at. We was up in the Street Runners Club, follow Street Runners TV. Did Gil make Lil Wayne hot? We was talking about it. Let me hear, me hear what y'all think about it. Let's go. Yo. What's good with y'all? Trying to hear why y'all trying to say Gilly the reason Lil Wayne's successful. Y'all just finding that out? I don't know, bro. I don't believe in that. Because wasn't he just his yeah. writer or some shit like that? Yeah, but if he wrote all his songs, that means what? He wrote all his songs, though? If he did, that means what? The whole Carter uh, One, that's bro. supposed to be his biggest album, though. Right, but, exactly. All right. So it's, but, we owe his success to Gilly. I don't know, bro. I feel it like this. To doubt, cause. I don't know, bro, because yeah, he's still successful to till this day. Little Wayne is charting bro, again, bro. Right hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not, you're not hearing the question. Is Gilly the kid the reason for Little Wayne's success? His biggest success came from the Carter One. That went crazy. So if so Gilly, if Gilly wrote that, that means what? Not yet. I'm agreeing with you on that part, but what I'm trying to say is Lil Wayne's charting again, and Gilly ain't writing for him no more. I mean, but you can't even understand. I'm sorry, me? I can't even understand, dog. But when he was writing for him, you could understand and actually hear what the hell he's saying. I'm sorry, yo. I can't. I can't understand all that <laughs> shit. That's all. He was too on lean and all that shit. Like I, I, I can't listen to it because at that point I'm just listening to the beat. All the other shit, I, I just can't get with it. Like, cause I, like, cause I, it's like you, man, yeah, yeah, man. I, I can't. I don't like that shit. Hey, I mean, that's damn. Like, the hottest little one like was that was when Gil was around him. There you go. I can't. But the block is hot and uh. And, and Lights was Out hard. wasn't bad albums at all, neither. No, no, you're absolutely right, right? That's when you can understand him, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he had one bad album before, and that, the only bad album was that 500 Degrees. He shouldn't have did that. But other than that, like, he was official with his career. Hey, yo, Slime, make sure you follow the concert, brother. But if he was cold, then why then why would Gilly need that? Need the ghost right for him. But if, but, Lil Wayne, but, Lil Wayne. but if Gilly was so cold, why wasn't his success that good? <laughs> because right. Lil Wayne already Black had Bull. the bigger name. No, Lil Wayne already had the bigger name. So if Lil, Lil Wayne, Wayne has the bigger name and he's ghost writing for this man, when he came out, they started beefing. You know what I'm saying? They got the beefing. Uh -huh. Now, don't get me wrong. Gilly cold. Gilly is yeah, yeah, Gilly's oh, cold. It wasn't me taking a shot at him. I'm just saying. But, no, no, no. I get it. But Lil Wayne's whole Wayne style changed name. when he first came from when he first came out. It changed. It uh, it, it, he was kind of like pop when he first came out. Then when Gilly got with him, he, he start he started talking more street shit to me. But the, if you listen to if you listen to Gil, nine 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 eight. Listen to Wayne around that time. Then listen to Wayne after Gil got down. He sound just like him. I'm a Philly nigga. We've been talking this shit. Right. I see. I see what Lil, you Lil said. Wayne, Lil, Lil, Lil Wayne and them wasn't wearing Pradas and shit. Them niggas was wearing Reeboks. As soon as, as soon as Gil went down there, they start trying to change the Pradas, Versace and shit. Gilly and, Gilly and the major figures, they was talking about that shit when they got a deal. So. You know what it is? Uh, I yeah. think like... Like when like like certain artists like there there's no stopping where they is gonna go like like take fifty wasn't not gonna stop them so when it come to Lil Wayne like Little Wayne when it came to the Hot Boys like Juvie Lil was Wayne. the top dude at first but to at me. the same time Little Wayne was still carrying like carrying Cash Money a little bit he came up with the Bling Bling even that the Bling Bling song and stuff. BG carried cash money before Lil Wayne. That's BG the reason they got that got that deal. But that's what BG they, got got damn near fourteen albums. Yeah, but before, BG, before mainstream. But BG, I mean, he was with Cash Money before them, but but it was Juvie that really put them on the map with with the whole huh and with the, with that whole four hundred degrees period. Like Juvie really took cash money to that next level, but BG just happened to be there first. I'm talking about before, before high. 
BG was selling 300,000 300, uh, records uh, independently. You can look it up. That's the reason for them getting a deal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not knocking that, but what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, Juke, like BG, like, like, yeah, like, as far as with BG, it was more regional, but Juvie took them, made them worldwide, like, like, from 99 to 2000 or whatever he said. Like, Juvie is really what pushed them way further. BG was just there first, bro. Like, he was more regional. Like, like, he made them more regional, but Juvie made them worldwide. We can't deny that part. Yeah, to, I'm, when Hov jumped on that high remix and took off. Exactly. I was just about to say that. I didn't want so, to cut nobody off, but when Jay-Z did the high remix, it took it worldwide. And that was with Juvie, because I remember being from New York, when we first heard, huh? We was like, what the fuck is this dude saying? We were laughing in New York. And when Jigga jumped on that remix, I like, oh shit, I got big guns that go brat, brat. Hey, 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 Andrew, yeah, we be real. Like, like that was one of Jay Z's worst verses. To like, they didn't okay, need Jay Z on it. From my experience, but, but you're, right, the, yeah, you're right. I'm just saying, when that record came out, it introduced that region of the world to New York, because you got to remember, mm -hmm. New York is the mecca of hip hop. Everything was passing through here. This was before the South had it. This is before everybody was whatever, whatever. New York had shit on smash. So we was really controlling everything. That's so true. when Jay-Z jumped on that high remix, that was the first time the world really heard the, the accent of where they're from and, and Wayne and, and shit just started getting hot for them after that. But Jay-Z stamped Juvie. And then the hot boys just started. Oh, no, I don't agree with that one. I don't agree with hey, that one. That's your thing. Wait, wait, I was outside. Uh, right there. <laughs> and I was like outside that. at that time. Bigger than Lil Wayne himself. Yeah, well, you know when uh, Jess Blaze came on here, he was saying like, like uh, Lil Wayne and Juvenile was in the crowd, kind of like. He was trying to make them sound like group. He said when Jay, when Rockefeller came to New Orleans, them niggas was in the crowd. And they got it, man. Wet cuss that nigga out so bad for saying that shit, bro. This was like before, like we got all that shit. But yeah, he was talking now, about how now wet with um. Uh, it's a lot of rappers down south in New Orleans that's bigger than Lil Wayne. Nah, but hold culturally, on, hold on, hold on. Wack is real close. You said one. bigger than Lil Wayne. Meaning culture. Meaning culturally. Hold up. Yo, one mic hold on up. King, one brother. Mic. One mic on King. One mic. Mm. one mic must be low. Hey, but look, Wack is real close with um Wack is real close with Gilly, right? But he real close with Baby in there. So I wonder is he gonna keep it real and tell the truth? <laughs> Lil Wayne. Made his success, I'm gonna say. Not made him, but made his success with that Carter one. They kind of talked about that on the um when they was on the podcast. Cause Gilly was telling um, Wet said something about uh he only fought with real niggas or something like that. And then Gilly was like, "Nigga, it's one nigga you don't fuck with. It's one nigga you fuck with that ain't no real nigga." And then they okay. kind of got it. You know what I'm saying? That happened on the first yeah. um, podcast. I, I, I seen that. I remember when they got into it about that. So you think uh, you think they're gonna squash their beef? You think Lil Wayne and Gilly gonna squash their issue? Nah, he said they ain't got no smoke. He said he seen baby in the club and he walked up to him. And he was just like baby, up? but not Lil Wayne. He, he baby, gotta Lil see Wayne that right now. Which I think I, I think Gilly still feels some type of way that they blackball his career. Cause you gotta think every time he take a shot at them, every time. I mean, the, I, to me, he ain't tripping though, bro. That's what he said. He said he ain't tripping about it. Cause I mean, think about it. He really ain't buy nothing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like no street shit. You know, he, it ain't like he's starving. He eating good right now. So, um, you know, you got to grow up. So, somebody I feel take like he, I feel like he contributed to his success from one child making it sound like it's. I don't think he was like. I don't think all his successes. You know, he's in debt to him for that. Cause he did. Gilly? 
Yeah, bro, because peep this, right? He wrote his first album, cool. Lil Wayne had a lot more fire albums. Not only yeah, that. Yeah, he had, he had a mixtape, y'all. Don't you know, forget know, about the mixtape. Yeah, not only that, that then he killed it in the skater universe. Gilly ain't helping with that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Lil Wayne after. became a pop culture that icon. After. Yeah, that was after. That was, after. That was well after uh, Gilly started writing his stuff. That he Thanks, did the whole skating stuff. He wasn't Lil even Wayne, you skating. He, he had he had mixtapes before that though before that album. But how we know? Yeah, but can, can I say like this though? Game. He capitalized off a lot of people's hold success, up, up. like Dipset. Lil Wayne, he wrote that Dipset way crazy. Yeah, he he for Gilly for sure get the credit for that first album, but as far as the mixtapes, nah. Hey, hey, can I say this though how about that topic? How do we know that he didn't write his mixtapes or some of the songs on the? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Gilly was with them for a long time. Yeah, I didn't even think like about that. Met him for that one. It wasn't like he was just with him for that one album and then he got ghost. No, he was with them for a long time. And if he wasn't dropping no music, then what was he doing? He had to be writing for somebody, right? He was teaching him the whole time. You check Wayne's yeah, yeah. swag, the way he drag his words, the cadence he used, right. all that shit is good. Right, that's what he was doing. He was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, right. But check this though. Hey, that that Carter One like gotta be like the I don't know. This just my opinion, but that Carter One is the hardest shit I heard from Wayne to this day. <laughs> I like it's it's good. Good. Um, That's good. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, crazy. I mean, I love the other Carters, but the Carter one, like, when you, you can still go back and listen to that shit. Like, damn. <laughs> hey, but the Carter two is one of my favorite albums until I heard Gilly. I heard, when I heard Gilly, it, it, it fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? Because I started. Like, Me the same way, bro. I'm the same way. Exactly. So for niggas that listen to Gil before we, you know, we, me being from Philly, we hear Gil before we hear Wayne. So we, as soon as we hear Wayne rapping like that, we like, damn, Gil put him right on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's be real. Like, like, not writing your own shit is like, damn, they're not shooting your own gun. Like, yeah, bro, but in today's music, you need a team to make it to be successful, bro. So all of that's not even like you being one artist writing all your music ain't realistic. There's people like Future who drop five albums a year. How you going to keep up? Nah, but, but Gilly didn't actually like sit down and pin. Gilly, like they, the Philly niggas just told you what he did. It wasn't like, no, like just sit down and write versus you like, you know, swag and, um, Lingo, shit that niggas in New Orleans weren't even saying, like bull and all. Yeah. That's that's Philly talk. But, but, so, but you know what I'm saying? That's what he did. For political purposes, he can't really sit down there and tell y'all what he really wrote because he don't want to get blackballed again. So he no, said, he, he he had had a long time ago I, though. I'm talking about when, when they was deep, and that's what he said. He ain't say he sat down and pin his shit. He just was like he was saying like little stuff. He gave him like the necklace and. You know what I'm saying? The swag and certain words that niggas in New Orleans were saying. Exactly. Let me hear what y'all think about it, man. Some people understood it. Some people don't know what they was thinking. But yeah, Gil made him hot. Just winning every single time. TV, West TV, like, subscribe, share, pull up. Let's go.